Let's start yeah. with the, the hockey world, Eddie. Yeah. Um, let's start uh, with what you think of what's going on in the bubble and how yeah. you think no fans is affected or no, I guess, home mm -hmm. ice advantage, how you think that has yeah. affected the way that things have played out for Lord Stanley's mm -hmm. Cup so far. Well, full disclosure, I'm currently in quarantine in the Edmonton bubble right now. Okay. I just got here a couple of days ago, so I have a couple more days of quarantine, and uh, meaning I uh, can't leave my room. They come and test me every every day, once a day, and once I am cleared, then I'll be able to get amongst the uh, the NHL family here in the bubble and be able to get to work and do the Oaks coverage and Derby coverage for us and then also the hockey coverage. But as far as the games, I... Uh, Honestly, Rich, I mean, I think they've been, I think they've been very entertaining. I, I think the uh, the understanding is that, yeah, there are, there are no fans, but as a player and having played in the league as long as I did for 16 years, is you know, no disrespect to the to what I think are the best fans in all the sports, is that wh when you're playing, you're really not hearing, you're not thinking, you're not, you know, you're 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 not wandering, right? You you don't know, you're just playing. The only time you know there's fans is after either something happens or you're sitting on the bench and. You're looking into an empty arena or what have you. So I think the mental challenge for all of these sports, not only the National Hockey League, but for the WNBA, the NBA, Major League Baseball, you know, whatever else we got going on, soccer, is that it's that, uh, you know, understanding that you got a job to do, but also respecting and knowing that we got a lot going on in the real world and we're here to entertain. And that's for us as broadcasters as well. But I think for the most part, the games have been pretty, pretty darn good i think they've been entertaining i think that uh, the teams are are all in and uh we get we're down to you know we're down to seven we're down to seven teams right now and uh three three of the four series uh were on the brink and uh, all those teams staged off uh elimination and now we're going to have a bunch of game sixes so all in all i think it's been pretty good and oh by the way a tip of the hockey helmet to the national hockey league They've done an amazing job in, in both bubbles in Toronto and in Edmonton. And the leadership of the commissioner, Mr. Bettman, Bill Daly, the deputy commissioner, the board of governors, the players, the players association, the return to play committee, and all the medical people that are helping this go through. Uh, it's been, uh, it's been amazing to be, uh, to see what's taking place. And I think hockey fans have been entertained. And at the end of the day, Rich, that's, that's what we all want. Best team left in the bubbles is fill in the blank. I would probably say Tampa, uh, not knowing the injury to Nikita Kucherov, who you would argue is their best player. Uh, he got hurt the other night uh, in Game 5 against Boston, took an errant stick from Zidane Ochara. So, but the way that they've played, they have been able to play a hard game, a game that, uh, you know, tight checking, but also they've been able to play rich the type of game where, they can play the skill game and and and, and dictate that, that type. So uh, they've gotten great goaltending from Andre Vasilevsky, who is one of the best goalies in the league. So right now, uh, I would have to say the Tampa Bay Lightning. Okay, and uh, which which team uh, in the West? Which one do you take? Well, I thought Dallas was the sleeper at the start of the regular season prior to the pause. Right. Um, they didn't start off very well, but they've kind of found their game here. And yes, they've probably taken advantage of an opportunity with Colorado in the goaltending situation um, and then losing Eric Johnson, uh, the big defenseman. So they're up three to two. They had a miss. They missed an opportunity to end the series the other night. So now they have a game, a huge game six tonight. Um, I mean, Vegas. You know, Vegas looks like they are the most complete team. Now they lost last night and got out goaltended. I shouldn't say they got out goaltended. I mean, Thatcher Demko of the Vancouver Canucks just, you know, he played out of his mind in his first playoff start and had 43 shots on goal and stopped 42 of them. So Vegas probably deserved a little bit better. When I But I look at the overall picture, you know, Vegas looks to be the the team that maybe just has it above everybody else in the West. But uh, I thought Dallas would give everybody a run. And, uh, you know, they're on the, they're, you know, they're on the verge of going to the conference final. So, don't underestimate the Dallas Stars. They're pretty good as well. And we'll see if it's uh, Philly or the Islanders uh, who right. can join uh, the Lightning. And then tonight, again, on NBCSN at 8 Eastern time, we'll see if Dallas can close out Colorado or the Avalanche can, I guess, pull a Denver Nuggets um, and force a Game <laughs> 7 here, you know. You like that video? Of course you did. Check out more right here.